We are quite used to some animals using camouflage, but there are also plants that have evolved to use camouflage and mimicry as a defence mechanism. Some plants discourage animals from eating them by being poisonous or being toxic or just generally unpleasant. Any plant that can then mimic the appearance of these plants has a substantial advantage and doesn't have to invest in creating the poisons or whatever specific deterrents the other plant also created. Probably the easiest example for this is the nettle. The stinging nettle is a wind pollinated plant which discourages a predation by stinging with acid and a few other chemicals. Though some creatures like caterpillars do still eat the stinging nettle, it does give them a distinct advantage over other plants. There is however another plant called the dead nettle or the white nettle since it has white flowers close to the stem of the plant and even though it's not related to the sting nettle at all, the leaves and the stem of the plant are virtually identical. It's only in the flowers or a small green crossed bud in the same location as the flowers that give it the clue that the plant is any different from the stinging nettle. The main difference if you were to handle it however is that the dead nettle won't sting you. The mimicry is all bluff to discourage predation. Next we have lithops or living stone which is related to the cactus and inhabit dry areas of southern Africa which as their name suggests have evolved to look like um, small rocks or pebbles. The round body of the plant contains the water store to protect themselves during dry spells till the next uh, rain arrives and unlike a cactus it doesn't protect themselves with thorns that just blend into their surroundings and most herbivores which are in need of water stored within these plants overlook them just thinking they are just another stone or a pebble in the general environment. So that is plants also using camouflage and mimicry to defend themselves. I hope it's interesting.